Household debt in the Great Depression. I want to go over this because I find it very, very interesting. Uh, came across an article that uh, led me to this website, which I find incredibly fascinating. And I think we can take a lot out of this too going forward. So let's read this. Let me turn on this light actually. Hold on a second. Let me get both sides of my noggin light up. All right. Household Debt in the Great Depression by Atif Mian and Amir Sufi. Don't know who these people are, but from March 2014. In November 1930, before anyone knew how great depression or how great the depression would be, Charles Persons published an article in the Quarterly Journal of Economics called Credit Expansion, 1920 to 1929 and its lessons. His, his thesis was stated forcefully in the first paragraph. The thesis of this paper is that the existing depression was due essentially to the great wave of credit expansion in the first in the past decade. I actually tried to download his article, but you got to pay money for it, like 50 bucks. And I said, I don't want to pay 50 bucks. I might actually, but I uh, wasn't quite trying to do that. But I tell you, man, that, that was, <laughs> let's keep going. The thesis of his paper is that the existing depression was due essentially to the great wave of credit expansion in the past decade. He then meticulously documented data on the stunning growth in borrowing by households during the 1920s. As is common in the run-up to severe economic downturns, there was a tremendous growth in mortgage debt. The great field of credit expansion in the last decade lies in the realm of urban real estate mortgages. Man, where does this remind you of? I mean, it's, it's crazy. Japan and then again us in 2000. In nominal terms, outstanding mortgage debt grew by more than eight times from 1920 to 1929. In nominal terms. That's not real. That's before inflation. But inflation wasn't much back then. Persons also highlighted the rise in installment debt or consumer debt used to purchase new furniture, clothing, sewing machines, and cars. Martha Onley, Onley, Onley at Berkeley examined the rise in purchases of cars and other durables during the 1920s and concluded that societal attitudes towards borrowers changed radically between 1900 and 1920. And by the mid-1920s, buying on credit was considered normal, not sinful. Persons concluded his 1930 article with a statement that is eerily similar to many we hear today. And they hear, I mean, if you're reading this, as he, they, they, they miss, they, they, it's a typo, no big deal, but many we hear today. The past decade has witnessed a great volume of credit inflation. Our period of prosperity was based on nothing more than substantial debt expansion. Hmm. Both the Great Depression and our recent Great Recession were preceded by large increases in household debt driven by new lending technologies. In 1920s, the installment loan, the mid-2000s had the subprime mortgage loan. Then we had the uh, L leverage buyouts, LBOs, um, that we had in the 80s, which, yeah, I mean, there was a significant issue with that, with the SNLs and stuff like that. I don't know what caused the Japan one. I presume maybe the same thing, leverage buyouts, uh, just speculative real estate. Is it a coincidence that the two most severe recessions in the last 150 years were preceded by a dramatic expansion in household debt driven by new lending technologies? This is the central question of our book. Many readers may want to read the only uh, in-person studies. Unfortunately, both are behind paywalls and we could not find free versions. The pay locations are linked below. Um, I'd like to see this as, what's this? Who's these guys' book? I want to read it, man. That is freaking, so here's House of Debt. I find that incredibly informative. It's just, I tell you, uh, do they keep up with this? Yeah, it looks like they do. May 5th, 2000. I don't know I haven't posted for a while. August, yeah, maybe not. I wonder what the book is, man. So let's just take a look. Money Matters, Contact, Following Setting, Spending, Debt Analysis. I don't see anything on their book. I don't know. Uh, more on the GDP, who bears. Federal Reserve risk, weakening economy, or just bad winter. That's all 2014. Ah, man. Um, subprime lending drives spending. Yeah, more evidence supporting the house of debt. Yeah, too bad. I was hoping, I'm not sure what the book is. May I have to look at them on Amazon. So bear with me just a second. Let's see if we can find these guys on Amazon. Hold on. 
So here we go. House of Debt by Atif Mian and Amir Sufi. House of Debt, they and you cause a great recession. How we can prevent it from happening again. Uh, that's, uh, man, that is spot on, man. I, uh, I'm going to buy this sucker and it'll go back on my list of my anti-library for sure. Uh, let's just see real quick what the... The, re the Great American Recession resulted in a loss of 8 million jobs between 2007 and 2009. Uh, more than 4 million homes were lost to foreclosure. Is it a coincidence that the United States witnessed a dramatic rise in household debt in the years before the recession? And the total amount of debt for American households doubled between 2000 and 2007 to $14 trillion. Definitely not. Uh, armed with clear and powerful evidence, Atif and Amir reveal in House of Debt how the Great Recession and the Great Depression, as well as the current economic malaise in Europe, were caused by a large run-up in household debt, followed by a significantly drop in housing, household spending. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Offers convincing answers to some of the most important questions facing the modern economy today. Why do severe recessions happen? I thought the Fed was supposed to police that up. Yeah. Could we have prevented the Great Recession and its consequences? And what actions are needed to prevent crisis going forward? That's uh, that's good stuff, man. I'm uh, I'm going to buy this, this sucker, and uh, I'm looking forward to reading it for sure. All right, so there you go. I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, anyway, that's good stuff. I'm I, I uh, very much. I wish they'd update their blog, but hey, you get busy. I get it. All right, let me go check on my dog back there. We'll see you guys.